Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back for another YouTube video. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Morph Transition so you can create presentations like this and level up your next PowerPoint. In order for you to easily understand Morph Transition, let's start by understanding its basic function. Open your PowerPoint presentation and go to the slide where you want to create the Morph Transition. So I have here a blue circle shape. And then we will duplicate the slide, right click the slide and hit the duplicate slide option. On the duplicated slide, make any changes to the elements on that slide. You can reposition or resize your element. Let's try to move the circle from left to right. And now we will select both slides. Under the transition tab, we will select the morph transition. Now for the preview, let's see the preview for this. So, as you can see, it smoothly transitioned from one position to another. Just make sure that you use the same element for both slides so that the transition appears seamless. Now, let's attempt to change the circle shape to a triangle shape and determine whether it works as intended. We can change the circle shape into a triangle one under the shape format tab. Since the two shapes are completely different from slide 1 which is a circle to slide 2 which is a triangle, the morph transition will not be visible. However, we can still perform a morph transition between these two different shapes by using the appropriate naming scheme. To accomplish this, start the object name with two exclamation points and assign the same custom name to the two objects. You can alter the name of the shapes by navigating to the home tab, then the arrange and selection pane. For the transition to function properly, the same name must be assigned to both objects in the selection pane. We will apply the double exclamation format. We will copy this name from the circle shape and then paste it on the second slide for the triangle shape. We will just paste it here which is basically the same name for the circle shape in the first slide. Now let's see if it worked this time. And as you can see, it is successful. We can now view the morph transition between two different shapes as long as they have the same naming scheme in the selection pane. Now to enable the triangle to exit, we will duplicate the second slide. To accomplish this, we will move the triangle to the right or beyond the slide under the slide 3. As you can see, the triangle in the slide 2 is in the right side of the slide and the triangle in the third slide is outside the slide so here is the final outcome from circle in the slide 1 to triangle in slide 2 and the triangle will exit in the slide 3 so that is how the morph transition actually works in Microsoft PowerPoint now let's attempt to design an actual presentation with morph transition I currently have a transparent picture of the Taj Mahal and a title text. To initiate the morph transition, we begin by duplicating the slide. We can now proceed to reposition and resize the elements in the second slides. As you can see, I move this Taj Mahal picture on the left part of the slide and we will move this title text outside the slide in the second slide. Please observe the positioning of our photo in the first and second slides. Then we will apply the morph transition to all slides. As we apply the morph transition, these elements will blend together smoothly. The position of Taj Mahal moves from full scale in the first slide to half in the left part of the slide since we resize and reposition it. The morph transition follows the same principle as keyframing in other editing tools. Now I have added here another text to the second slide and I will send it to the back as a layer. As you have observed, the morph transition for the newly added text is just a simple fade transition. To make it more interesting, we will also apply the morph transition to this text. We will just copy this text and paste them on the previous slide, then send them to the back for layering. Next is to move this text downwards so that whenever we move from the first slide to the next, the direction of this text will come from below.
So let's proceed with the tutorial by duplicating the second slide and then adjust the placement of the elements to achieve a morph or blending effect. Specifically, we will move the text or the history part upwards so that its direction matches the transition from the second to the third slide. And then as you can see, here's the preview for that. And then we will move this picture from left part of the slide to the right so that the movement will be from the left to the right. We will also add a picture and these pictures are not yet included in the second slide and as you notice the transition for these pictures are just like the fade transition since these pictures were not included in the previous slides and to apply morph we will copy that elements and paste it in the previous slide or in the second slide and then we will move this picture downwards so that the starting position for this will be from below if we shift from second slide to the third slide and the, the, the text we will move it in the left part and here is the preview now let's try to adjust the layering for this Taj Mahal for a more seamless result and that's perfect we can also resize these pictures or rotate it for more dynamic effect for the morph transition and here is the preview. Keep in mind that morph transition will help you make smooth animations, transitions, and object movements across the slides in your presentation. Now let's try to duplicate the third slide and reposition our elements once again. We can delete this text box, the history part, since these texts are not involved in the third slide. And this lover's tomb text, we can move this upwards. And then for the time for the exit for this picture, we will rotate it and move it outside the slide. And now we can see the preview or the exit for the lover's tomb text and for the pictures. And now let's try to reposition and resize this Taj Mahal PNG image once again. And we will move this in this part, resize the image. And let's try to add this text, the inside Taj Mahal. So now let's copy that inside Taj Mahal text in the previous slide for the entrance morph effect. As you can see, the text came from the left side of the slide. So we can also create a carousel effect with morph transition for images in Microsoft PowerPoint by following these steps. Insert the images you want to use in your PowerPoint presentation and arrange them in order you want them to appear in the carousel. So I will add this image placeholder and then change the shape into a rounded corners. So we will now add the picture inside the image placeholder. Let's select this picture of Taj Mahal inside. So here it is. Now you can place or adjust the position of this image based on your likings. And let's try to copy that images and resize it, make it smaller. So we are doing this for the carousel effect. And let's try to copy this once again and paste it. And now we will change this picture, other pictures for our carousel effect. Let's try this another image for Taj Mahal inside. And for the last image, so let me just remove this. And now, here are the pictures we're going to use for the carousel effect. And for the smaller images, I will add this grayish effect. Duplicate the slide and then replace the first image with the second image in the carousel. So we will just remove first these images and this text since we don't need them anymore. And now we will adjust the placement of the image and the filter as well. So we will move the first image upwards and 
the second pitch word upwards as well and then we will change the size of that second pitch word with the size we just used for the first pitch word in the previous slide your carousel should look like this right now and we'll just adjust This time we will remove the grayish effect for the second image and apply it the grayish effect on the first image. Now let's see the preview so far for this carousel effect. As you notice, the first image move upwards and then the second image. And now we will just repeat the process until we reach the last image. So here is the preview. Now let's see the preview also here. So let's copy this image first to the previous slide so we can add the entrance effect for this. We'll just adjust the layer and now let's see the preview for the slide number 4. So we can see here the entrance for the images. Here is the preview for slide 5 and for the slide 6. So that's it. Here is the final preview for this morph transition tutorial. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you have some questions or content suggestions, just leave them in the comment box. Again, this is Gamma Edits and thank you for watching.